Larry, just uh, what was kind of that moment on uh, connecting on the, the homer? And you know, after having kind of a tough moment in, in game two, what did that feel like to kind of be able to come through here? Como fue el momento, obviamente, del home run y pues, toda la situación en, en ese inning. Y, y teniendo el juego de hoy, luego de lo que fue pues, el, el segundo juego y el momento difícil que tuviste en el refil en ese juego. Este, eso son cosas que tienes que dejar en el pasado y enfocarte, de, y enfocarte juego tras juego. Y no puedo darle mente a lo que pasó. Hoy vine con la mentalidad de dar mi 100% y tener un buen juego pa, para el equipo y para la fanática que están esperando. You have to leave the past in the past. You know, I, like, there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, today, I, I came with, you know, focus on the game 100% and trying to have a good game and help the team. In the middle, back row. Uh, Yasmani, we're, uh, your play obviously uh, is causing a lot of conversation. Dusty called it a smart play on your part, especially as a catcher. Tony said you obviously have that running lane right there. What was going through I guess your mind during that play and then kind of after it when the discussion happened. I mean, I wish I could tell you it was a heads up play. Um, I, I just saw the replay. I didn't even know I was running that far inside the line. I was actually just trying to get the first. Um, it takes me a long time to get there. So um, I, I was, you know, as I hit the ball, I'm looking down. As I look up, I see the ball kind of coming straight at me. I try to get out of the way and it, it hit me. Um, so yeah, um, I know what the rule is, but like I said, I wish uh, I wish it would have been a uh, heads up play by by my part. Um, uh, it just so happened to hit me. Go to Maddie on the left in the middle. Uh, Larry, what's the trick to facing two different pitchers and one at bat? Oh. <laughs> Eh, primera vez que me pasa eso en, en, en mi carrera y, y, y son dos approaches diferentes, pero era la misma, la misma mentalidad de, de, de encontrar un buen picheo y hacer un buen contacto. Yeah, it was the first time that, that happened in my career, but uh, you know, you have to have two approaches, kind of, uh, but uh, the mindset is the same. Uh, you know, just, just trying to make a good contact and, and help the team. And then, Yasmani, on your home run, you worked a seven pitch at bat, I believe. Will you break down kind of your approach um, for that at bat? Um, you know, my approach was pretty much either get the ball in the air or try and get on base. Um, you know, they're, obviously their plan uh, the first two games was to make sure they got me on the ground. So. Um, Every time I've gotten the ball in the air, it's it's hit hard, and um, you know he just so happened to make a pitch up in the strike zone, change up. Which you know when you look at the numbers and especially where he threw it, um, probability of that ball getting hit is it's not high at all. So um, you know, I was just able to get get a good swing on it, barrel it, and, and and get it in the air like like I thought, or like I came into the day. Uh, thinking about and, and hitting it out. Staying on the left third row. Yasmani, with the situation that you guys were in, to play like you did today and to get that win the way you guys did, what does that say about this team? I mean, it says a lot. Um, you know, the one thing that I, that I told the Kopeg after he came in and he gave up the, the two home run, uh, the two run home run to, uh, to Tucker was, you know, this is your game. I need you in this game. Um, you know, I told them I've been here before, and we're going to come back and we're going to win it. Um, I don't think he really believed me until he saw that we actually came back. Um, so um, you know, we've, we've had plenty of games during the year where we've been down early by a lot of runs, and, and we've been able to come back and, uh, and, and take the lead. So um, you know, today was, was no difference. Bruce on the right in the front. Uh, Liori, um, what does it mean to you and uh, the rest of the players? Like in game two, you know, there was a play where it didn't work out. Same thing with Kimbrell. He had a game, didn't work out. And you guys come back and have as much confidence as you need to, to get the job done the next time out. What, is, what does that faith in La Russa and the staff have to go for that? It, uh, 
son cosas que pasan. A veces uno tiene un día malo y como dije anterior, este, la mentalidad no fue pensar en el, en, en el juego anterior, ni en el juego 1 ni en el juego 2. Eh, teníamos un, un día, era hoy, esta noche o esta noche, no teníamos otra oportunidad y, y todo el mundo salió a dar todo lo que tenía y los resultados fueron buenos. Those things that happened, uh, you know, everybody have a bad day, but our mindset today was in today's game. You know, we need to win this this game, and uh, that's what we were thinking today. Uh, you know, there's nothing else. The past is the past. On the right, Scott. Yeah, it's two for you. One, Tony said that he heard over and over in the last few innings from the guys in the dugout how thankful and how awesome it was for them to see the fans there from start to finish. Nobody left loud as can be. What was that like? What were you guys saying? Well, uh, it was great. Um, uh, Billy Hamilton, it's a hype man. So uh, I told Billy, hey, I think it was right around the third inning. I said, hey, as soon as we come back in, I need you to get the fans back in it because if we get the, ba the fans back in it, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and take this take over this game and Billy said all right I mean this place was rocking tonight I, I haven't seen it um, you know these fans are incredible so the fact that everybody was here um, was great you know all blacked out it was awesome um, so hopefully uh, we'll have it tomorrow again and you know keep rocking and tomorrow you'll be with Carlos to start. What have your conversations been like with him? Tony said that really in the past like 48 hours, he's been telling him like it's been kind of a turnaround. I really feel good for the yeah. first time. Yeah, yeah, he's been he's been saying that. So I'm, I'm excited about that. Um, you know, Carlos is a competitor. He wants to be out there. He wants to make sure he he's on the mound. Um, and we, we've seen what he can do when when he's uh, full go. So the fact that he's actually been saying, hey, you know, I, I got it. I got it. I got it. Um, it's great news to hear, so I'm very excited for that. Oh, far left towards the top. Yasmani, how big has Tim Anderson been at the plate this postseason? I mean, Timmy goes, we go. That's just, it's just the name of the game. Um, he can make, he can make, he can do things with the bat. He can do things with his legs. Um, very smart player. He knows what he wants to do. He knows how he, he wants to do it. Um, so yeah, I mean that's why he's he's our leadoff guy. Um, so yeah, if he if he goes, we go, and 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 we're we're gonna follow him all the way through. Um, you know, obviously having him on on the base paths, you know, he can steal bases, he can he can go, you know, first to home, first to third. Um, so it's it's always a, a good thing when we have him on 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 base or um, or at, at the batter's box. And on your right. Oh, go ahead. Dylan Sorry. right over Dylan, here. Um, can you talk specifically Sorry. about the bullpen, um, the last five innings? I think they retired the last 15 in a row. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, they came in and, and did a great job. And, um, you know, thankfully our, our offense um, and our bullpen as well were, were able to to uh, make it happen and, and pick me up. So it was, it was good. Any final questions for this group? We'll go James. Towards the middle. Uh, Yasmani, this lineup has been very tough, uh, you know, all series. Uh, just what do you see from, you know, working walks and whatnot? What do you see from the the execution level of the bullpen to put together the last five innings that you guys were able to do? I mean, we we finally made pitches with two strikes. Um, you know, that was that seemed to be like the story in the in the first two in the first two games. You know, we would get them to two strikes and we couldn't just put them away. Um, you know, it's a veteran lineup. They know exactly what they want to do. Um, and today we were able to get them to, to chase a little bit more, uh, get a few more swings and misses, um, you know, limit damage as much as we could. Uh, but, you know, I've, I've played against these guys before, especially in the postseason. You know, I know exactly what, um, how they go about it. I know exactly what they're trying to do. Um, and you know it's a tough team. They they definitely have a lineup that um, you know from one through nine. They, they they're all going to be uh, uh, battling it out, and they know exactly what what they want to do, and they feed off each other. So um, you need to limit all 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 the damage as much as you can. And uh, I felt like uh, the bullpen did a great job of that. All right. Thank you all for your time.